Okay, guys, in this video, let's talk about DraftKings stock. So I'm going to tell you guys why I'm buying more DraftKings stock, and I'm really excited for this stock for kind of the second half of the year. So uh, in case you guys didn't know, DraftKings stock is up over 279% this year, and the company has just absolutely exploded. They did a merger uh, recently, uh, last month, and basically the stock has basically um, – it's basically taken off since then, guys. So one of the reasons why DraftKings is so popular is because they are one of the top uh, sports betting, uh, fantasy sports games, and even uh, iGaming betting sites in the world, and they're the number one player in the United States. So what I'm going to talk about in this video is a couple of reasons why I'm buying more DraftKings stock and why I think this stock could approach between $80 to around $100 by the end of the year. So let's get right into it, guys. The first thing I want to talk about is that the NBA is officially back. So we're on ESPN.com. As you can see here, it says NBA approves a 22-team format to finish the season says the NBA Board of Governors voted Thursday to approve a 22-team format to restart the 2019-2020 season, July 31st in Orlando, Florida. So why is that and so important? Well, guys, in case you didn't know, right around now, uh, you know, obviously DraftKings would be earning a lot of money with uh, Major League Baseball and the NBA. And since uh, the NBA was kind of halted and the MLB season is going to be pushed back, this is going to be a huge revenue generator for DraftKings. And the way that DraftKings makes money with uh, daily sports is through Rake. So I want to talk a little bit about Rake. So what is Rake? Well, as you guys can see here, maybe I'll blow it up a little bit. Okay, so what is Rake? So Rake is the percentage of your entry fees that will go to daily forward sites you're playing on. So the way that companies like FanDuel and DraftKings in particular for this video generate a lot of revenue is they earn Rake on how much people spend. So as you can see here, if you buy into a contest between $1 to $22, DraftKings is going to earn 10% of that money. So if it's like a big prize pool of let's say $3 million, DraftKings is going to earn around $300,000 in revenue just from that. So the fact that NBA is starting up is a huge huge boon for the revenue. And of course, we're 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 going into the fall where you've got, you know, a lot of sports going on. You've got uh, baseball will be uh, going on, the NBA and the NFL of course. So, you know, that's I think that second half of this year is going to be a huge revenue generator for DraftKings. So now let's I want to show you guys a little bit information if we actually head here to the actual presentation on DraftKings. You can see that as you know, as things have been shut down, DraftKings has been really creative and coming out with all these different eSport and iGaming products to kind of keep revenue stable. But the good thing is, is that when real life sports come back, comes back, uh, they're going to be able to keep these because eSports is a huge growth industry, guys. And I want to make a completely separate video on why I think eSports is going to be dominant in this decade simply because more and more people are kind of spending time alone. And I think this decade you can kind of call it the solo decade or something like that, where I think more and more people are going to be living alone. I think more and more people are going to be doing things like playing games alone. And even uh, there's a car company out there that I want to make a video about in the future uh, under the ticker symbol solo. So I think all of these products are basically new. And I think in the future, more and more people are going to be interested in them and using them. Okay, so when we're talking about DraftKings, we're, we're using uh, a couple key metrics here. So obviously that this is like a gambling website, sports betting website. We need to know how many people are actually using this site and the average revenue. So this is the same metric that I use when I'm, I'm looking at stocks like Roku or stocks like Facebook. We're looking at monthly unique players. So as you can see here, monthly unique players ending the last quarter was 720,000. So I expect that number to increase substantially in the second half of the year once NFL, NBA, and MLB are all picking up. And guys, NFL is a huge product for uh, you know DraftKings, and it has the biggest prize pools, and it's obviously the most popular sport in the United States. So I should expect a lot of people to be really interested in football, as we you know so many people have spent kind of the first half of 2020 dealing with this whole coronavirus crisis, and I think football is going to bring a lot of stability back to American society. So I'm really bullish on Dra DraftKings in that aspect, and as you can see, average revenue per user has been increasing as well. So these are two key metrics. As long as these numbers are keep going up, uh, these things are looking good and uh, that's definitely something to be excited about. And then another key piece which I think will really drive this stock price is the introduction of this new 
iGaming ETF. So as you can see here, I'm looking at this article on Benzinga. It says you can bet on stocks and sports with this new iGaming ETF. There's a brand new iGaming ETF, guys, that uh, went public uh, today, and it's called the Round Hill Sports Betting and iGaming ETF under the ticker symbol BETZ. So as you can see here, it's basically, uh, you know, it's basically covering, uh, you know, the iGaming uh, index. Uh, as you can see here, it says that bitch market allocates over 7% of its weight to DraftKings. So DraftKings, obviously, they went public in April. And as you can see here, I think this is a really, really important uh, milestone for DraftKings because the fact that new ETFs are coming out and they're holding DraftKings stock in those ETFs, that's going to bring a lot of institutional money into DraftKings. And that's what we want to see. We want to see kind of more people uh, start investing in this industry that is expected to grow substantially. So as you can see here, they say sports betting in the U.S. would be a seven to $10 billion business four to five years from now, assuming more than 35 states were in, on fray. And then uh, as you can see here, those forecasts are approaching 20 billion each for iGaming and sports betting on the basis that more cash star states will turn to online casinos and sports gambling as avenues to bol bolster coffers following the coronavirus pandemic. So as you can see here, guys, basically what they're basically banking on is that a lot of uh, state governments are going to basically open up things like, uh, you know, gambling and online gambling and things like that to just generate more revenue. Because right now with the whole coronavirus crisis, a lot of cat, a lot of states are doing whatever they can to generate revenue. And then another interesting thing here I found on the article is that, as you can see here, uh, Colorado, Illinois, Michigan have recently legalized sports wagering. And obviously that is one of the thing, offsets of the whole coronavirus situation. More and more states are going to open things up. So as you can see here, finally, it says USA lags behind UK and Australia in terms of per capita of gambling spend. If we estimate the market based on per capita rates in those countries, the market reached around 22 to $23 billion. So like I said, lots of opportunity for DraftKings stock here. And uh, this is something that I actually have a lot of experience with. I am a daily fantasy sports player and I play on FanDuel and DraftKings. And DraftKings is the number one player uh, in the United States. So if you guys are looking to invest, when I like to invest in stocks for long term, I usually like to pick the biggest horse in the race. So that means the most dominant, uh, biggest, largest company and throw my money into that. Uh, that. That strategy has worked really well. If you take a look at companies like Apple, you know, the best tech company, uh, if you take a look at Amazon, the best e-commerce company, uh, you know, if you take a look at coffee, Starbucks, the best coffee company. So you can kind of just focus on when you're thinking long term, picking that best, biggest company in the space and kind of just putting your money in there. That's usually a sound strategy. So like I said, guys, I have my price target for DraftKings stock at around $100 by the end of the year. I think this stock has a long, long way to go. And I don't think a lot of people realize the potential of e-gaming. That is huge, guys. There's actually another e-gaming stock I want to talk about. It's called Sports League Gaming. And I'm going to make a video on that in the future. But I want to just kind of just wrap things up with DraftKings here, guys. So I'm going to be adding to my position this week. And uh, I think we're going to see an explosion in this stock price as the it gets down to the NFL. So there's a couple ways you can play this. Obviously, you can buy the stock outright, and that's what I'm going to do. I really want to hold on to this stock for the long run. But I think there's a lot of value as well and call options. So uh, congrats to you guys that, that watched my previous videos on American Airlines. I talked about how even though I personally didn't want to buy the stock, I think there was a lot of value in call options. So guys, call options is a great way to play a stock. If you don't have a lot of money to buy a lot of shares, you can still control a lot of shares using cheap call options. And with call options, I prefer to buy them longer term, at least 30 days because you really don't know when uh, the stock is going to go up. It's hard to kind of just guess that. So if you give yourself at least 30 days on the stock options, that'll give you guys a higher chance, a rate of success, in my opinion. But like I said, guys, uh, be sure to uh, check out more information on DraftKings by smashing uh, that subscribe button to get future updates on my videos. I post videos on the stock market on a regular basis, guys. And be sure to smash that like button if you enjoyed this video. I think DraftKings is a really excellent company, guys, and they even made money during this whole, they actually increased their revenue during this whole uh, COVID-19 pandemic, so it's really going to be exciting to see what's going to happen in, once NFL season starts up. So that's it for now, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, take care.